Alright guys, so we're back on the show. We're getting ready to set up for the concert. We're going to need to We're going to need to This is day, I don't know, three, night three of this six night cruise. So I'm headed back up to the top deck. We literally work all day long. And I think the job exhaustion is starting to set in. Hi there. And I just don't even know how I'm gonna make it through the rest of this. Like this is intense, but little outfit. Just all black, casual. I, I didn't even bother touching up my makeup. Like, why? Like I said, we're having to go back upstairs. There's like two other parties going on, but I'm just going to record a little bit for you guys to see it. And then I'm going to have a date with my bed. This lighting in here is horrible right now, but you guys have seen Jamaica. We're headed now to Grand Cayman and uh yeah we should be there in the morning that should be pretty cool and then back to the grind if you go to bed it is fine this is a cruise that is party all night all the time it's okay you can go to bed it's it's, it's okay now i just need to remember what side my room is on good morning guys so this is day four of the love and harmony cruise your girl did go in last night and she got that good night's sleep i mean it was a good 
car nicely. So we have docked in, in the Grand Cayman, Jamaica. So we're gonna head out, grab some breakfast really quick, and then we're going to have to take a, kind of like a shuttle, but it's gonna be more like a boat over to the island. We're going to uh, go get some sightseeing really quick. And then of course, you already know, back on the 10th deck, glamming up for everyone. And tonight is the, oh, captain's dinner. So we have a lot of appointments for today. So it's gonna be a pretty intense one. We're gonna try and check in with you guys as much as possible. But you know, we're here in Jamaica. What do you have here? What are you trying on? Can you come to the house and without getting a hat? Absolutely so, not. Fedora. Really plain, goes with everything. But I'm loving this one. Because this one is one for the food. It's yes. Which yeah. one? Both. 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 You can't choose. I don't want to. I don't want to.
but I still. Where are we? We are in the Cayman Islands, honey. In the front seat of the cab, on the left side. <laughs> He's driving on this side. <laughs> Hey guys so we are back from grand cayman had a beautiful beautiful time like it was obviously the time was too short now it's time for us to work and every photo that i've posted has let you guys see how frantic we have to get ready and how everything just turns into like a but let me show you what my amazing room attendant did she made my bed she knew that I have to carry this bag for work. She put all my contents in here. She straightened me out with my wigs and stuff. Just kind of got me organized. So she got this room back together. Bathroom, again, I've already washed my hands, but she got us back together with the bathroom. And you know what? I just really appreciate good service. So if you guys want to take a cruise, let me tell you, the Celebrity Cruises, bomb.com. It has been absolutely amazing. I mean, with the exception of some few fine tunes that we had to do for work and locations and all that stuff but when i tell you this thing was organized to a t best experience of our life now let's just make it back to shore when we land in fort lauderdale or dot port you know what i mean when we get our back to fort lauderdale Good morning guys, it's the last day of the Love and Harmony Cruise. Give you a little outfit of the day. This is what I'm wearing today. I probably won't get a chance to change. I am having to do one of the biggest legendary reggae artists makeup today at five o'clock. But of course I go to get my coffee this morning and people are already bombarding me for the lipstick. So I'm going back downstairs to my room to get my stuff and get myself in gear so it's been a really really amazing trip i'm exhausted um but it's it's really cool this morning we um went past cuba and all the cell service was out so it was actually really cool to see the little cuban sign and it looked like a little little dot but um 
it's been a really really cool experience we're already getting requests for us to come back next year so i guess the bag is secured Hey guys, so we're here for the last day of the Love and Harmony cruise. This is our, I'm going to call you the mistress of ceremonies because you've been killing it. Oh, all the looks that we've created on this cruise. This is Miss um, Jeanette and she is with Tempo. So tell them a little bit about what you've been doing. Yeah, listen, well I've been on this cruise talking to a lot of people for our Cross Caribbean Countdown show. Of course, our Tempo cruise show where we go to all the different countries and all the different vibes. And listen, my girl has been hooking me up. All the looks have been You amazing. already know how we do. Oh. Oh. My DM is blowing up. They're like, girl, you are on fire every day. Cause that's how we do. She bad. She bad. She bad. She bad. She bad. Just give them a little tease. Yes. I mean, you came with all the property equipment. I'm just giving you a little extra shush from the south, right? Oh, she's right? judge, honey. So we're collaborating with Temple Cosmetics and Glamorous okay. Chicks. Exactly. You already know makeup by Keanu. So we're going to actually start with this beautiful canvas. She's giving me all of this beautiful melanin from the Caribbean. She was in the water yesterday. Yes, and shaving yes. the water a few ways, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to do a real, real clean canvas. And I'm going to transition this look tonight. So I actually want to start with something really simple, very, very wearable, very photographable. She's going to be on television, of course, all day because it's kind of like her job. So we're going to do something really, really clean. Stay tuned. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to give her just a little bit of an alcohol-free facial spray. Now notice I'm not doing a whole lot of priming. She is naturally going to sweat. The only thing I want to do is cool her skin down so I can actually apply the foundation, do a little bit of highlight. Again, keep the skin very, very, very wearable. But as I've already showed you guys, I always start with very wet skin, be it moisturizer or a beautiful setting spray. We got a nice cool breeze coming in. So again, I want to cool the skin down, but I want to make sure that the makeup doesn't slip, but I want to make sure that it blends. So I'm going to spray her once more. At this point, her skin should be nice and cool. Remember, she's also has a lot of hair that traps in heat, and most people typically sweat around the perimeter. So we're going to burn her out with a little bit of contour. We're going to put the emphasis on the lip. And there you have day glam. So I'm going to do something really, really light. This is going to scare a lot of people. I'm going to go in really light. I'm going to embrace the night is what I call it. Going in light to embrace the night. We're going to blend out right around the eye area. Of course, we're going to do just a little bit of highlight right on the forehead. A little bit. She has a little bit of a scar right here. I'm just going to actually pull that into the dome of the forehead. Pop right on the chin to create that highlight. I'm going to also spray my brush. I'm using a good old crown. This is my 450, you already know. Crown. Create some of my favorite brushes. And notice how this highlight is blending out. It's going to be bright, but at the end of the day, she's going to look very, very highlighted, but not too white. We want her to look very, very awake, shall we say, because it's been a long cruise, right? Five days. Five days of non-stop party and glam and giving the people the looks, giving them all the teas, feeling it in this Caribbean breeze. I don't even know where we are longitude-wise right now, but we are definitely on the water. <laughs> and see how nicely that blended out? <laughs> that was step one. So you already know I'm going to do this five-step face. Again, her skin is feeling a little bit dehydrated. As the skin feels dehydrated, go right back in and spray her once more. Now, Jeanette got a little bit of sun yesterday, so I want to make sure that I don't take away from her beautiful glow. But again, I want to emphasize, bring in that beautiful melanin from this Trinidadian skin here, right? Trinidad, right? Yeah. Got us a Trini, got us a Trini. Yes. Activate. And I'm going in with one of my new favorite brushes. This is by Stelazzi. Um, it's a S506. And we're going to blend up and create a beautiful, soft, intense, contoured bronze look. And notice I'm only putting product exactly where it needs to go. Blending up. And because the skin is very wet, it's allowing me to get a lot of mobility on the product. So I can blend it around, not create any harsh lines. It's all in the blend. If your wrist doesn't hurt when you're done, that means you didn't blend properly. Just gonna hit up under this jawline to make sure her profile is always on point. Alright, what's that skin looking like? Beautiful. 
beautiful skin, very, very wearable. Notice I haven't done anything down here. Once you think about it, most people tend to sweat around the peripheral and then the sweat typically drops here. So when I bring the contour underneath, I don't want to put too much product on because she's going to be patting the face. And of course, we're going to have to do her again tonight. So we don't want her to do too much. We want to allow her natural skin to peek through just a little bit. That means that she's on the water. Skin is very, very wearable. All right, we're going in with one more shade. This is warm tan. And we're just going to kind of cut this contour. Turn back. <clears throat> so instead of doing this with a powder or a vape, I'm just going to put a little bit of the, her closest shade that I have and just basically clean up the contour. Can we see what's happening there? So the trick is when you're creating looks for outdoor is only to put the product on that's necessary. If the skin is already really clean, why are you going to pile makeup on? I mean, you're going to be outside. I can't stop you from sweating, but I want you to look as fierce and as fabulous as possible. And just blend that in and then down. If you're using something that's really light, you can blend it down. If you're using something really dark, typically you want to blend up, especially if you're working with a female aesthetic. Because we're not trying to create that spread, we're just creating enhancement of natural beauty. And do this for me? No. There you go. And just hitting right where most people typically get smile lines and just adding a little bit of product and blending that out as well to fill that area. Okay. Okay. Going right back underneath the eye to make sure that it's not too light. Going right back in with her natural shade. Again, blending out with my Stelazi and now I'm doing the stippling technique and basically just tapping that in. Tapping it in, make sure I'm not moving the product so a little bit goes a long way. Tap, 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 tap. Blending it right into her nose contour to give her a nice, fresh, lifted look. Uh, now, this is something that's universal. You already know, I don't ever leave without my Fin powder. I have it in loose form, but I also brought it with me in press form. A lot of people don't know that Benai does come in press form. Of course, there's always full tutorials about Benai products and the products that I represent with them. But I'm going to get a little bit of this loose powder, shake it in my cap, and I'm going to go in with one of my new favorite brushes. This is the Morphe Y11. Very tapered and pointed. We've been using this on Jeanette all weekend, and it's been really setting the eye area really, really nicely. Oh, okay. Working from the outer, pulling in, and just making sure that the highlight doesn't slip as the day goes on. Now she's going to sweat a little bit, guys, so I'm just hitting the forehead, underneath the eye area, down the bridge of her nose, and right on the bubble of the chin. I don't want to powder her too intensely. Again, we we'll have to change this look tonight. It's going to go to a little bit more of a matte look. She's going to be outdoors. If I start adding a lot of powder now, she's going to get too cakey. So I'm just going to let the skin breathe. Let it do its thing. Don't you agree? You've been enjoying that look, right? Gosh, yes, please. Let the skin breathe. Here's another tip. If you're ever afraid of what the makeup is going to look like, if it's going to give you any flashback, you can always pull your cell phone camera out with a flash and double check the angle. What's that? Oh, okay. Oh, no, I have to turn back that and especially with Jeanette being on camera, I want my eyes to be what the camera lens is going to see. Naturally, your eyes don't always catch every angle with your phone or just a regular camera. Oh, yeah. Ron and Rob, Ron and Rob, the last time I walked out of the chair. Oh my God. Y'all snatch this real clean. Right? When the client does this, you know you got it right. So what I'm doing, I've mixed two different colors, a brown and a black on my hands. And I am creating a fuller brow. And I want it to be very, very structured. Like I said, she is going to be on television, so I can always go a little bit more intense with the brow. Tonight, she's probably going to wear a bang, but as far as today, we want it to kind of match the hair to give it more of an authentic look. And it lasts all night, right? Yeah. 
absolutely amazingly set. Brows done, of course. We're gonna give the girl a little treat. Glamorous Chicks Cosmetics in collaboration with Makeup by Kiani. We are at Customized Selection. Drop your head down. Cosmetics in collaboration with Glamorous Chicks Cosmetics. This one is Good Mind, right? Good Man. Okay. So we're gonna go in, obviously, with a disposable one. The trick, as I always say, one right. lip at a time, people. If you want the lipstick to the last all day, one lip at a time, coat the lip completely, press the glitter on top. Then she has these amazing lips. Turn. When you use the full wand, roll the wand. I want all that product off the wand. Now her lip becomes my palette. Beautiful, intense hot paint. I'm gonna just do a little quick tight lining. I have a nice breeze, so I need to work really, really quickly because the lipstick is gonna start to dry, but I wanna make sure the glitter binds down with this. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful lemon yellow. Is that not absolutely stunning? I'm going with my Presto Shears. This is my arm belt, you guys. So if you've been enjoying seeing this on my rip, it keeps all of my brushes intact. I'm gonna spray the brush really quick. Oh, okay. Spray my brush. Grab my glitter. Open. And press the glitter. So and you're literally just pressing the glitter until the mat is no longer wet. The more glitter you apply, the longer the lipstick will wear. Alright guys, this is the finalized result. We have beautiful tropical Caribbean skin, amazing popping lips for day party, on the sale, beautiful lashes, beautiful brow, beautiful Caribbean brow. That's how we do it right here at Makeup by Kiani on the shelf for Love and Harmony. Oh my god guys, I just got back from doing one of the biggest legends in reggae culture, Marcia Griffin. I just did her makeup. What does that mean? Does that make me a other celebrity makeup artist? Is that what it means? Most stressful experience on this trip, okay? Can't say the date, but on this trip, for sure. Changed her look twice, she want her skin to look like mine, uh, and I had to do that all in less than 15 minutes. Thank you, okay? So worth it. So worth it. And then Malika's over there becoming a hairstylist and creating her headdress, so we're gonna show you guys the tease. Our room is giving our room attendant, that's it. We're giving her another look to clean Can't up. Mother. So this is the look for tonight. H&M shorts, a little top that I've had from forever, shopped in my own closet. Again, the little new stilettos. And we are late and we are headed out. See you in a bit.
Justin didn't help us with the luggage. I have no idea. How did y'all manage? No, no, no. no idea. No idea? No idea. No idea. No idea. But look at the luggage, like the pound of a grill.